Let's talk about the rising gas prices, the rising interest rates, and how that is affecting people's ability to be able to buy, right? Fuel costs are up 38% in the last year. Um, rising costs of gasoline directly impact a buyer's ability and the consumer's ability to spend, right? Obviously for a cash buyer, things are a little bit different, but most houses are bought with mortgages, right? Which means most people need to be able to make that payment. So that coupled with inflation and coupled with the rising interest rates and the high gasoline costs, you may see housing markets start to slow. Now, don't say I didn't tell you that you might not be able to sell your house and be stuck in it for a while. Not just yet, but that time could come because we went from getting 40 offers on houses to getting a few less offers on houses. And generally speaking, that could slow the market down, right? The housing market is really driven by supply and demand. And if consumers can afford less, that's really gonna bring the demand of the medium to the lower end buyers down. The higher, the higher end buyers might be okay, but you're just talking bigger numbers and that could slow that market down right with everything else. Double digit increases in houses, right? Home values went up 19% in the last year to two, right? Uh, rental market went up 12% in the last year to two. And wages are growing at about four and a half percent so if you really think think about all of all of those numbers you know when you look at it those are in a high, really high increases in people's spending so if people are spending so much more they're going to have a little bit less for housing if they have little less for housing and interest rates keep going up and prices keep going up and commodities like food and gas keep going up that affects affordability. If affordability is affected, supply and demand is, is affected, and then you may be stuck in your house for the next 10 years. If you're looking to get the value of what your house is worth so you're not stuck, you know who to call, follow the links below.